Hey, hey, thanks for tuning in. How y'all doing? This is Wicked Warnings, your number one source for construction and emergency safety strobe lighting equipment for cars, vans, buses, bicycles, tricycles, SUVs, pickup trucks like this beautiful 2019 Chevrolet Silverado. This happens to be a Z71 edition. And if you have a truck that looks just like this and you want to get some emergency lighting on it, then stay tuned because we're going to go over this whole build in this video. What are you looking at in the front right now anyways? Well, what you're seeing is a three inch M power light in an amber white. Now, no worries, that light comes in all kinds of color configurations, but we're running an amber white configuration here. And we've elected to synchronize those two lights to fire simultaneously and alternate color simultaneously. Right next to it, you might notice the factory DRL lights doing something not so factory. That's our auto flasher module running those DRL lights and we currently are in development of an all new plug and play kit for that where it will plug into the back of the headlights. As it's sold right now, that modification is done at the body control module underneath the steering wheel via cutting a factory wire. But stay tuned because we are working on the plug and play connectors for these headlights. We've tested them. We just will be putting them on the website very soon for that auto flasher modification to those DRL circuits. Now, if you're not sure what I mean when I say DRL, I'm talking about them white C-shaped lights on each side of the truck right underneath the headlight. We refer to them often as C-rings on the Super Duties because they're facing the other way. On the Chevys, they face outside. Um, so those are the lights. Now, you won't lose any functionality to those factory lights. Any of our auto flasher kits, when you modify a factory light like that, you don't lose the factory function. As soon as you turn off your strobe light switch, your lights will return right back to factory function and, and uh, work just as they did before you modified them. So that's the good benefit of our auto flasher is it completely retains all factory function when you're not switched on in emergency mode, as you see here. Here's a little bit of an off-camera shot for you. You can see there. Now, I'm going to put some detail at the end of this video on how I wired some things. I'm going to try to put as much of this package together for you in a bundle that you can buy and install yourself. Now, this is not going to be a drop-in, plug-in, play, everything package. There will be some field connections and some interconnect wiring that you'll end up doing. You'll need to set the patterns on your particular M power lights that you can see in the grill there and a couple of other things as well but uh, overall we'll try and put everything that we can in a bundle for you to make this particular job real easy to mimic if you have a Chevy just like this and you want to do the same thing Alrighty, around the back of the truck, you can see our factory cargo light, as well as that light on the tailgate handle. That's integral in our auto flasher kit for the factory cargo. Now, to get that effect, you're going to interrupt a wire via wire cut on the passenger dashboard. We are not going to make a plug and play connector for that as of yet. So in order to flash this cargo light, you will be cutting a factory wire. Now, if you elect, you would, you can alternate the cargo to the tailgate if you want, but the one thing you can't do with this cargo is split left, right, left, right, the upper cargo. This cargo fires in simultaneous fashion only, but as I said, you can elect if you wanna go top, bottom, from tailgate to cargo, you can do that on the auto flasher kit. Below that, in the step pockets, you can see our Lin 8 light. That's our newest light. It's a dual color configuration, and uh, that is available via the link below in the description. Alrighty, now to talk about what we're going to include in this particular bundle when you buy all these parts on your own. What you're going to get is your two 3-inch M-Powers in amber white up front. You're going to get our auto flasher kit for the front DRL lights. You're going to get our auto flasher kit for the rear cargo lights. You're also going to get two of our Lin 8 lights for those rear bumper steps. I'm going to go ahead and put 25 feet of our 22-5 in there, and that's going to allow you to extend the passenger Lin 8 light over to the driver's step Lin 8. It's also going to allow you some extra wire to extend both of those M-Power lights in the grill up to under the hood where you can connect them into uh, connect them together synchronize them and then run them through the firewall to your switch whether it be a factory switch or an aftermarket switch either one will work just fine so you're going to share that 25 feet of 22-5 to extend both grill lights and both of the rear bumper lights you can put a short extension on the driver's side rear bumper light okay i'm also going to put in 25 feet of our 18-2 wire now that's going to allow you to extend those lin 8s from the driver's bumper forward to your switch you're going to run them right up along the frame up through that little boot where the factory emergency brake cable comes in 
we're also going to extend those right up to the switch that 25 feet will give you a little bit left also to extend the wiring from the m powers from under the hood or under the dash up to your switch as well on these particular chevys you can grab power from the side of the fuse box there's several terminals right in the side of the driver's fuse box there where you can grab power we're going to go ahead and put a fuse kit in there for you so you can fuse that power that you grab and we're going to put a three-quarter rocker switch as well so you can drill it into the dashboard there where the factory switches go you can see what I mean right here. That's where the factory auxiliary switches go. But if you don't have those, we can use that simple supplied rocker switch right there in the position that the factory auxes mount. That way, if you ever do decide you want to put the factory switches in, you'll cut that rocker switch out. Put a, uh, There'll be a large rectangle you cut out there, and your factory switches will go there instead. A couple of other items we're going to put in this kit for you. We're going to put in some Primer 94. That's to better bond those front M-Power lights. We'll put one package of that in there. And we're going to put an assortment of 8th inch and 3 16 heat shrink, as well as some uninsulated butt connectors. Those are going to be helpful when you're making your wiring connections. The 8th inch heat shrink and 3 16 is adhesive lined and 100% waterproof. So as I said, there might be some terminals or some split loom that you're going to need to do on your own, and uh, you'll have to supply that. One side effect worth noting while I have you on video here, is these headlights are smart headlights they will fall asleep after a while if the ignition is off so if you're looking for a system that'll run with the battery only ignition off like the truck is right now the drls eventually will turn off now there's two workarounds for that the first work workaround is to simply put the parking lights on. As you can see, that little orange light on the upper right-hand corner there of the driver's light, the parking lights are now on. That will wake up the lights, bring them back to life, and they'll continue to strobe, as you can see. The other solution would be just to simply have the vehicle running. If you're okay with your vehicle idling while your emergency lights are in use, I don't know if you're a snowplow guy or anything else where the vehicle is, for the majority of the time, running then you have no issues this uh the headlights only fall asleep when the vehicle is off keyed off and after a certain amount of time the that particular circuit in the bcm goes into hibernation and uh, the lights will shut off the rear light does not have that effect it's only in the daytime running light circuit in the front headlights so i just wanted to make note of that while i had you I'm going to put some little tidbits here at the end of the video, some stuff I filmed during this install to help you out. I'm also going to put links in the description to everything you need. We're going to make this a bundle product. It's going to be available right on our website as a bundle. But as I said, do keep in mind that there'll be a little bit of assembly and pattern setting required on your end still, but you can easily mimic this job exactly how you like it. If you wanted to see some other examples of different jobs, feel free to bounce around our playlists a little bit and piecemeal take little pieces of whatever build you like. You're more than happy to create a custom pattern package for anybody with pieces of different videos and uh, we can assist you with selection if you need but we definitely need to see pictures of your vehicle to help so thanks again for watching wicked warnings your number one source for construction and emergency safety strobe lighting equipment for cars vans buses bicycles tricycles tractors and very nice 2019 chevrolet silverado z71s just like you're seeing here we'll see you on the next video and do stay tuned for some more details on this build Hey, hey, here's a little bit of detail if you're looking to add an M-Power light to the front of your Chevy Silverado. And it's a custom. It's got a grill like this. Then, here, I'm going to explain to you what we're doing here. So here we have our M-Power 3-inch light. This is 3M self-adhesive VHB tape. We've pre-wired this. We've got our loom, everything. We're ready to go. And our goal here is we're going to want to put this light right here. We drill one hole for the wire. We're going to put primer promoter on this plastic. And then this light is going to fit right up in there, all beautiful like that. Now, active shutters. Well, 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 how the hell are you going to get that wire back there anyways with them shutters in the way? You just can't do it, can you? No, yeah, you can't do it. So, the best way I'll illustrate here is uh, the zip tie. I love these zip ties. Four-foot zip ties make real good uh, chasers. So, you drill a hole right there dead center. Now, I'm going to take you inside here and show you where the other hole is you're going to need to drill. See it right there? That's the outer housing of the active shutters. And you can drill a hole right there, not screw with anything, and fish a tie, a zip tie or anything from that hole out front right through there. Now, over on this side, we take this loose a little bit. You can see right down in there, same deal. We drill a hole there, and that's how you get the wiring around the active shutters 
for mounting your M power lights right there. Now you're gonna ask me, how do I drill that hole? This is my favorite tool. It's a 12 inch extension on a Harbor Freight Unibit. Pretty easy to make. You get the extension at the home defect, you get the uh, Unibit anywhere Harbor Freight works, and then you can reach right down in there and drill that hole. I'll reach right over there and drill that hole. Then you mount the lights, wire it up, and you're done. Take it inside through the firewall. Okay, now, yeah, where are you going to go through the firewall? Well, here, I'll show you where we went through the firewall on this one. Right down in there. See there? Right underneath that factory cable. That's where we drill a hole from the inside of the truck. Now, if you want to go through the factory boot way over here, you can. That's fine. But we just, sometimes it's easier to just drill a hole right there. And I'll show you where that hole is inside the truck. Alrighty, we're in the truck right now. And bear with me here. There's your hole. That's a three-quarter grommet we put in that hole right there. Don't, never mind about what we're doing with the BCM. Right there, that's where you can drill a three-quarter hole. You could drill a bigger hole if you need. We took away the, the heat shield a little bit with a razor blade and uh, drilled the hole, put a grommet in it, and away you go. So that's how you can get them grill lights into the truck. So you can activate them with a switch. That's how you mount the grill lights. And I hope this information was helpful to you. So if you got a new body Chevy like this, Silverado specifically, with that grill in the front, that's how you can put some M-Power lights on it. And uh, you could also put them M-Power lights in the back if you wanted. You could definitely put them down in the, in the bumper pockets back here. You could use several other lights as well. So thanks for watching Wicked Warnings. Hope this tutorial was good for you. And uh, see you guys in the next video. Wicked Warnings.